Welcome to this, our Maundy Thursday Reflection. Today we share a Liturgy of Shadows, a series of readings followed by silence that lead us from the conclusion of the Last Supper to the condemnation of Christ to death. Let's begin with a prayer. O Lord Jesus Christ, who in the garden taught us by word and example to pray that we might overcome the perils of temptation, graciously grant that we, always continuing in prayer, may know the fruits of your generous response and come to share in your victory, who is alive and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. While Jesus and the twelve disciples were eating together that evening, he said, The one who will betray me is now eating with me. This made the disciples sad, and one after another they said to Jesus, You surely don't mean me. He answered, it is one of you twelve men who is eating from this dish with me. The Son of Man will die, just as the scriptures say. But it's going to be terrible for the one who betrays me. That man would be better off if he had never been born. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Jesus said to his disciples, All of you 
will reject me. As the scriptures say, I will strike down the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised to life, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter spoke up. Even if all the others reject you, I never will. Jesus replied, This very night before a rooster crows twice, you will say three times that you don't know me. But Peter was so sure of himself that he said, Even if I have to die with you, I will never say that I don't know you. All the others said the same thing. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Go to dark Gethsemane, he that feel the tempter's power, your Redeemer's conflict see, watch with him one Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane and he told them, sit here while I pray. Jesus took along Peter, James and John. He was sad and troubled and told them, I'm so sad that I feel as if I'm dying. Stay here and keep awake with me. Jesus walked on a little way. Then he knelt down on the ground and prayed, Father, if it's possible, don't let this happen to me. Father, you can do anything. Don't make me suffer by having to drink from this cup. But do what you want and not what I want. When Jesus came back and found the disciples sleeping, he said to Simon Peter, Are you asleep? Can't you stay awake for just one hour? Stay awake and pray that you won't be tested. You want to do what is right, but you are weak. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Jesus went back and prayed the same prayer. But when he returned to the disciples, he found them sleeping again. They simply couldn't keep their eyes open and they didn't know what to say. When Jesus returned to the disciples the third time, he said, Are you still sleeping and resting? Enough of that. The time has come for the Son of Man to be handed over to sinners. Get up. 
Let's go. The one who will betray me is already here. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Jesus was still speaking when Judas the betrayer came up. He was one of the twelve disciples, and a mob of men armed with swords and clubs were with him. They'd been sent by the chief priests, the nation's leaders and the teachers of the law of Moses. Judas had told them ahead of time, Arrest the man I greet with a kiss, tie him up tight and lead him away. Judas walked right up to Jesus and said, Teacher. Then Judas kissed him, and the men grabbed Jesus and arrested him. Someone standing there pulled a sword. He struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Jesus said to the mob, Why do you come with swords and clubs to arrest me like a criminal? Day after day I was with you and taught in the temple, and yet you didn't arrest me. But what the scripture says must come true. All of Jesus' disciples ran off and left him. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. See him at the judgment hall, beaten, bound, reviled, arraigned. Oh, the wormwood and the gall, oh, the pangs his soul sustained. Shun not suffering shame or loss. Learn of Christ to bear the cross. Jesus was led off to the high priest. Then the chief priests, the nation's leaders and the teachers of the law of Moses all met together. Peter had followed at a distance and when he reached the courtyard of the high priest's house, he sat down with the guards to warm himself beside the fire. The chief priests and the whole council tried to find someone to accuse Jesus of a crime so that they could put him to death but they could not find anyone to accuse him. Many people did tell lies against Jesus, but they did not agree on what they said. Finally, some men stood up and lied about him. They said, we heard him say he would tear down this temple that we built. He also claimed that in three days he would build another one without any help. But even then, they did not agree on what they said. The high priest stood up in the council and asked Jesus, Why don't you say something in your own defence? Don't you hear the charges they're making against you? But Jesus kept quiet and did not say a word. The high priest asked him another question. 
Are you the Messiah, the Son of the glorious God? Yes, I am, Jesus answered. Soon you will see the Son of Man at the right hand side of God, all powerful and coming with the clouds of heaven. At once, the high priest ripped his robe apart and shouted, Why do we need more witnesses? You heard him claim to be God. What is your decision? They all agreed that he should be put to death. Some of the people started spitting on Jesus. They blindfolded him, hit him with their fists and said, Tell us who hit you. Then the guards took charge of Jesus and beat him. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Then Pilate asked the crowd, What do you want me to do with this man you say is the king of the Jews? They yelled, Nail him to a cross! Pilate asked, But what crime has he done? Nail him to a cross! They yelled even louder. Pilate wanted to please the crowd. So he set Barabbas free. Then he ordered his soldiers to beat Jesus with a whip and nail him to a cross. The soldiers led Jesus inside the courtyard of the fortress and called together the rest of the troops. They put a purple robe on him and on his head they placed a crown that they had made out of thorn branches. They made fun of Jesus and shouted, Hey, you king of the Jews! Then they beat him on the head with a stick. They spat on him and knelt down and pretended to worship him. When the soldiers had finished making fun of Jesus, they took off the purple robe. They put his own clothes back on him and led him off to be nailed to a cross. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Alfred's mournful mountain climb, there adoring at his feet. Mark that miracle of time, God's own sacrifice complete. It is finished, hear him cry. Learn of Jesus Christ to die. No passerby even cares. Why doesn't someone notice my terrible sufferings? You were fiercely angry, Lord, and you punished me worst of all.
in the beginning was the one who is called the Word. The Word was with God and was truly God. From the very beginning the Word was with God. And with this Word God created all things. Nothing was made without the Word. Everything that was created received its life from him and his life gave light to everyone. The light has come into the world and people who do evil things are judged guilty because they love the dark more than the light.